Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Lucy's Dream, a game created by a small group of students from Finland over 12 weeks. This is meant to be a Victorian-styled horror puzzle adventure set across two interlinked dimensions, and it looks like a lot of fun. If you want to play it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end, but right now, let's face our fears. This is Lucy's Dream. Right, here we are. Let's get started, shall we? What we got down here? Oh, I think it's teaching me the controls, actually. That's W, A, S, and D. To move, control to crouch by the looks of it, space to jump. Should be able to run as well with shift, that's it. What have we got here? A very important box by the looks of it. But a box with a combination lock on it, right. Ah, so we're not looking for numbers or letters, we're actually looking for different coloured shapes. And I think it might be a red square. That, I think, might be the first of the four, so we need to find the blue, green, and yellow ones. Alright. Let's see. Let's go over here, shall we? What we got down here? Looks like I set myself up a tea party. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I can, I can pick up and move items around. Uh, can we have a look inside the wardrobe? We can, because I can just about reach the handle. Nothing inside. Although, oh, I can get inside. And I think I can actually close the door, so yeah. I might be able to hide. I think there is supposed to be a threat in this game, so I might need to do that. That's good to keep in mind. What about the drawers down here? Alright, okay. I like the level of interactivity already, yeah. Lots of physics-based movement by the looks of it. Hmm, a little bit like Penumbra or Amnesia. Okay. Let's see. Through here? Ah, it's locked. Okay. Maybe the key inside that box is going to unlock the door. Yeah. What about that one over there, I wonder? What's this? Mouse 1. Well, that's how we interact with things. Can I pick this up? I do notice that I don't have a light source. Oh, I see! It's another shape underneath the cushion. Okay, so it's, it's a blue triangle this time. There you go. So we just need to find the green and the yellow shapes now. I guess I could just sort of force it by playing around with it, but I want to find them. Through here? Well, that's locked as well. Well, that's no good. And uh, something in here? Another one of these red balls. What about the top drawers? Nothing. Okay. What have we got here? Hold... F? Hold F? Oh, okay. Let's hold F. I'm covering my eyes. What just happened? Anywhere. Ooh. Ooh. I think I just transferred between dimensions. From A to B. Hold on, can I, can I do that again? So I just cover my eyes to go back and forth? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's go into Dimension B, shall we? Let's see what lies on the other side. Maybe I can get a couple more clues. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is unlocked. It's open. All right, well, let's go into another room. Oh, I like this. Okay. <laughs> nice little steps to get into the bath. Maybe I need a bath. Ah, look at that. There you go. Okay, so it's a yellow star. Fantastic, right. What about the drawers and cupboards here? Uh, I can't actually have a look at those. The wardrobe? Displays nothing. Uh, we have yet another door, but this is actually locked. Um, control, that's for crouching. Maybe I can crawl in? Okay. I'm curious. If I go back right now, is that door going to be unlocked? And the door behind me, is that going to be locked again? Okay, that's still locked. What about this one? Yeah, that's locked too. I'm kind of locked in the bathroom here. Okay. Ah, but what was once scribbling is now a crescent moon. It's a green crescent moon and... Oh, what, what was once the shape is now scribbling. Right. So yeah, we do need to see things in two different dimensions to make sense of them, it looks like, but... Right, okay, let's let's go back. 
and let's enter the combination. We should be able to get that box open. So it's a green crescent moon and a yellow star. Yeah, okay, so I need to go back because there's actually no box here. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's it. And it's open. All right. All right, hang on. <laughs> We've got some very conveniently placed steps here. And there's the key. But the key to what? To this door here? Ah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. We're leaving the bedroom. And we're getting taught about using shift to run. That's a little bit worrying. Okay, let's go this way, shall we? This looks like a pretty big place. I don't really know where to start. And to be honest, I, I don't know if I should be in this dimension or the other one. But let's go this way to start with. Got another couple of cupboards here. Maybe some other places to hide. I'm not really sure. Wow. Uh, well, let's see. What we got in the wardrobe here? Nothing inside? No? Okay. Something down here. Oh, again, it's teaching me about shift and running. Oh, okay, so maybe that key actually unlocks both of these doors. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, well, maybe let's let's stay in this dimension for a while and let's go this way, shall we? Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Okay. That might be the creature I need to avoid. But hold on, hold on. I go back to this dimension, and she's not there. Maybe she's only in dimension B. I'm not sure. But I don't see her. I don't hear her. There's no trace of her. Okay, yeah, let's, let's stay in this dimension. This seems a little safer. Dimension B is the horror dimension, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so we got some drawers. Some doors. Okay, some locked doors. Um, through here? Wait. That's locked as well? Not this one, though. And not the top ones. Okay. I guess we're looking for more keys, but I don't see a keyhole for this. Maybe I can only unlock this in the other dimension. I'll come back to this. I'll definitely come back to this. Right now, I just want to explore and get a lay of the land. I think I know where I am. I think I was on the other side of this room, looking through the doorway, wasn't I? So up here? Another couple of locked doors. All right. Uh, let's open the drawers, the wardrobes, the cupboards. There might be something inside. Then again, maybe there's not. <laughs> I still actually haven't found a light source that I can take with me, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, well, I think I've done the full loop, and I I didn't see the monster, so... Well, I suppose I'm going to have to go into the other dimension now, aren't I? Alright, let's do it. Okay. Well, this is where I last saw her. She was heading in this direction. Maybe she was doing a loop like me. Not sure. So I can't take this? No, I can't take this. To be honest, I'm not sure if the... Ooh. Ooh, now this is different. These weren't here before. Okay. Ah, alright. So that goes there? Oh, we've got to light the lamps. Light the lanterns. Yes. Okay, so we need to find more of those. I can't use the same one to light all the others by the looks of it. This is still locked. What about these doors? Yeah, they're still locked as well. I was going to say, I'm not entirely sure if I can pick up an item and then transfer dimensions with it, because I have to, like, cover my eyes, right? So I'm going to have to drop what I'm holding, presumably. Hold on. Hold on. There's one. Right, okay, so let's take it back and let's use this on one of the lamps. 
this one here will do. Okay, so we need to find, what, three more? Alright. Um, well, let's go back this way. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to whether the other doors are still locked. They probably will be. Yeah, they are. I gotta say, I do like this. I am feeling very vulnerable here, though. Alright. I didn't see anything in the bedroom or the bathroom. What's that up there? That wasn't in the other dimension. Oh, I can see it. Can I... Oh, I got it, I think. Yes, I've got it. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. So, uh, after this, I think I just need to find two more. Good stuff. Hang on. Didn't actually open this, did I? Alright. Just in case there's some more hiding around. Oh, look, there's another one. There's another one right there. Okay, I've got two. I can't carry two at once, unfortunately, but all right. Just need to find one more, I think. So that goes there. And... Oh, shit. Okay, there she is. Right. Um, do I hide? Do I hold F? Oh, if I hold F, I have to stop. I, I don't like that idea. Oh, I'm going in. Hide, hide. Oh, sounds like she's just right outside. Oh shit, okay. Cover your eyes. I'm safe to cover my eyes. And she's gone. She can't hurt me in this dimension. <laughs> okay. But that also means that I can't complete this puzzle as well. So, yeah, swings and roundabouts. Right. I don't know where to transfer, you know? I don't know if there's, like, a, a really safe area. Maybe if I... Yeah, I'm going to climb in this cupboard here. I'm going to climb in the cupboard, I'm going to close the door, and I'm going to go over from A to B. Hear her moving around. Is she getting closer? I think she might be, to be honest. I don't think I picked the right cupboard. I might see her in a moment. Oh, yeah. She looks very odd. She's got some kind of janky animation style to her as well. Right, I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to run this way. Right, here? Okay, just need to find one more. Definitely nothing down there, nothing there. Right, where am I going to find the last one? It's going to be somewhere in this dimension, right? It's got to be. It has to be. Oh, there it is! There it is right there! Okay, it's not too far away at all. Okay, is it safe? Ah, that unlocks the drawer. So I've got a key. A key for this? Yes! Right. I'm inside. I'm closing the door. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go back to dimension A. Okay. So it looks like this is a library. What have we got here? What is that, a crank? Uh, well, alright. I can spin this around. What's that doing? Okay, I, it's kind of locked in position now. It can't go any further clockwise. Did I just move a bookcase or something? Something here? No? What about this side? Nothing on this side. Yeah, alright. What about these doors? Are they unlocked as well? Right. Yeah, so both doors lead to the same room. Interesting. Okay. Something up there. A switch by the looks of it. Or is that the start of a crank? Hmm. 
What's that? <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I need to create a little bit of a tower to stand on so I can get up there. I am a little bit short in this game. Maybe I can grab an odd book here and there. But not those ones, apparently. What have we got here? Ah. Oh, it's a doll. I assume that's my doll. Why do I think it's haunted? <laughs> She's probably causing this horrific nightmare that I'm experiencing. Up there? Okay. Alright. Interesting library decoration. What is that? Hmm. Just hanging wood by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Another clue. F. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's another one. So, wait, there's... I think there might be four of them in total. Okay, I, I don't actually know what I'm doing with them. But maybe once I've found all four, once I've spun the fourth one, something will happen? Hmm, okay. Uh, I'm just going to give this place another once-over, then I suppose I'm going to have to transfer dimensions. Because chances are we're going to be able to do stuff in B as well, right? Hmm, something in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Although that might be the perfect place for me to hop in, hide, <laughs> and then cover my eyes. Because we're going back to B. Right? I don't hear her. I don't see her. What have we got here then? What's changed? What's different? Have we got a, a few more cranks? Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, so the one that was up there that looked like that probably has a crank on it now? If I had to guess. Yes! It does. I, I just need to get up there. So, I need to build myself a little bit of a staircase to get up. What the hell? Alright. Well, the doll's still here. But everything else has changed. Wait, there's another one here. Oh, alright. Do we want that to be closed? Probably. Okay. <laughs> Would that be number three? So, if that's number three, and there's only four, the only remaining one's that one up there. I- oh, I, I could be cheeky, maybe. Oh, I've got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm meant to be able to do that, but I just did. To be honest, I can't find anything to, to make a, a tower out of, you know? So, alright. What did that do, though? Something to do with this? Maybe I want this to be open? Maybe I need to get inside the pipe system? No? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, well, let's, let's keep it closed. Well, let's see. Let's go back to dimension A. Has anything changed? Have these moved? Is that what I'm doing sometimes? Am I moving them up and down, left and right? I really don't know. Can we... No, we can't go inside by the looks of it. We'll go down, right. Are they all connected? I hear her. I don't know where she is, but she's close. I think she's, like, right ahead of me. I think she's just wandering around the corridors. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Um, right. Is that an opening? Has that been closed up? I think that's an opening. This is very odd. It's a big old thick book, isn't it? 
Oh, is this what I could have used? Right, that's, I suppose, how I meant to do it. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um. Okay, got a ball. Uh, you know what? Maybe the ball can fit, even if I can't. Hmm. I don't know, give it a push. Alright, well it goes down. Okay, it is actually getting carried to the next section. And unlike me, it is going up, so hold on. Right. Ah! So it's all to smash the glass! Right! Okay. Sounds like she's on the way. Oh. Okay. What's this? Okay. I got my doll back. And am I back in my bedroom? Doesn't look quite as furnished as it once did. What we got here? <laughs> That's a very heavy doll as well. Man, I'm gonna break it. Oh, I see. A bed for me and a bed for you. There you go. Alright. And there you go. That was the end to Lucy's dream. Or Lucy's Nightmare. It depends on which dimension you pick, really. But uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Yeah, I certainly liked the way it looked. It did have that Victorian style. The puzzles were pretty creative. Going back and forth between dimensions was pretty good. Uh, and I do like that there was a level of threat, so I couldn't mindlessly go through it. I did have to bear in mind that, at least in Dimension B, in the horror dimension, I could get caught. So, yeah, that, that kept me a little bit on edge. Um, some of the puzzles, it seems, you can exploit, as I did, so maybe that should be fixed up. But, you know what? For, like, 12 weeks' work, 3 months' work... Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Can we have a look inside the wardrobe? We can, because I can just about reach the handle. Oh! What just happened? Anywhere. Ooh. Ooh. And we're getting taught about using shift to run. That's a little bit worrying. Let's stay in this dimension for a while and let's go this way, shall we? Oh, oh, oh boy. Um, do I hide? Do I hold F? Oh, if I hold F, I have to stop. I, I don't like that idea. I assume that's my doll. Why do I think it's haunted? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm meant to be able to do that, but I just did. And unlike me, it is going up, so hold on. Right. Ah! What we got here? <laughs> That's a very heavy doll as well. Man, I'm gonna break it. <laughs>